welcome back to the channel guys expose and educate and it wouldn't be right to just show you a little bit of this just going to get it out of the sun it's unusual that uh, if you're traveling through Bristol that you see this this sort of part of the world this is one of the flyovers obviously you've got the bridge over the canal that's a railway bridge beware of the noise guys it's on a very busy road but yeah it wouldn't be right not to not to just show you this little bit of architecture four lanes of traffic across here two each way guys it's um This is Feeder Road in Bristol. It used to be famous for a spice factory. I don't know if the spice factory is still here. But whenever you came down this way, you would always smell the spices. And I don't know about anybody else that was local or has visited, but always used to make me hungry. Um, coming from a different direction today, so we're not past it, it's further up this road but we are just about to come to our next next place I'll just show you the sign so there you go Kenneth Steel House it's a it's a police station but it's other things as well it's a shared site, or at least the first part is. So we need to be a little bit careful because there is no footpath. And um, we need to keep in. Keep in tucked to the right. As I said, there's two or three businesses on here, plus the police station that we're about to visit. We've left it late in the day because hopefully there's more chance of getting blue lights. It is on the books to to make a visit at night time or at least once the sun goes down and that will vary at times at the moment because days are getting longer nights are getting shorter so we have one car coming out as we speak which means the exit is up further up the road but we're going to go into this bit just here so, car full of police officers. So yeah, we're going to just cut across here. So Kenneth Steele House. I will uh, put some information into the video, guys, when we get back. So the wind in Bristol today is being pretty pretty strong so you can see the bridge we've just walked under up over the back and you can see the weight of traffic on it and you can see it spreading right down into the distance we got to head back that way shortly so this car park is private property and is provided for the use of staff and visitors Vehicles are parked here at the owner's risk and the organisation accepts no responsibility. So standard sort of procedure. I don't think we can actually see much from here. You might be able to see a couple of vans over in the distance. Um, there's a part of Kenneth Steel House at the back. I don't know if that's connected to the, to the police or not. So we'll just have a a little mooch around what's this say here deliveries post couriers please use intercom so the yellow phone here is provided by BT which I'm assuming most of them are and it just says to speak with an operator please lift handset phone will dial automatically so that's rather a a change from some I've seen that's had two or three buttons on so what we're going to do we're going to 
just park our bottom which is something we seem to be doing a lot of lately and we'll just see if we can catch anybody leaving in fact I'm just wondering if sitting up on the corner might be a better option uh, because of the car that come the other way so what we might do actually if we park up here we can keep an eye from both directions and we'll be able to uh, see what's occurring uh, a little bit easier and we can keep our eye on the traffic ready for, for home time um, as I said the wind's a little bit strong here today it's more open than I thought actually so um, yeah so there's not many cars in at the moment as I was uh, coming in there was a uh, an altercation with a couple of cars down on the bottom roundabout and there were three police vehicles in attendance so this time of night it's it's pretty potluck whether you get anything or not we'll just have a little look at what else is up here because having never been um, in fact I think I've only seen one other auditor do up here and I'm not sure if he bothered to look around um, in fairness he did get an interaction fairly quickly so <laughs> you know the score if that happens you don't tend to hang around you move on to another location as a rule so we'll just have a wander up this bit obviously this leads to Western Power so you can see the communications tower it is a big one it is a big one but then looking at the river next door um, we've got to be fairly low so I suppose it's got to be high to get the cover so we've got a WPD site anybody know what WPD is Western Power Distribution I'm assuming we've also got now I never knew this was here Bristol Television and Film Services now I wonder if they mind people filming It'd be like ironic if they uh, had a problem but we'll have a we'll have a wander up see what we can see and I'll pick it up in a bit so we're at the the back end of the police station not sure if other auditors have been up here so we got quite a few vehicles one two three of the small van I say small vans tranny type van one two three hang on I've lost count one two three four five six carriers six carriers and I've got to say one two three four five six seven cars eight cars one tucked away in the corner now that should tell me that there's plenty of coppers indoors so we've got an ANPR with a camera on the back this one's got the camera as well but it doesn't say in ANPR this one's got the camera on the back but doesn't say I don't think nope no ANPR that one's standard Peugeot that one's standard that one's standard and that one's standard so yeah we'll have a have a little wander back around the front excuse me mate where's the television filming place right is it a long walk is it all right fella thank you I wondered if it was part of your land you see so I'll check it in a minute. Thanks very much. I like your style getting a lift that way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Saves on the shoe leather. So Mark car just coming out guys, so I didn't have to wait long to see another one did we? So we'll just uh, zoom in as the gate's opening and then as he comes out we'll just drop the, the zoom back down and we'll just see if they're going to have a chat a -roo. don't seem to, not very friendly. It's always found as well that obviously the um, the females are obviously not as friendly as some of the um, some of the gentlemen, shall we say? So uh, a, bit, a bit interesting, but unusual. But um, yeah, little bit, little bit strange, shall we say? In fact, shall we go and see what they're up to? See if they're radioing through and uh, seeing if we if we our presence cheese them up a bit. So it's uh, just a standard car, Vauxhall, needs a good wash, bird poo all up the side, um, tyres don't look too bad, yeah, not too bad, pretty good, pretty good state of affairs, could do with a wash, um, so, Oh yeah, I was just saying it's in good condition apart from it needs a good wash. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit grubby. Yeah. Can't help the birds though, can you? No. What are you doing here today? Just, just filming you guys. Yeah. Getting a bit of stock footage. Yeah. Um, I tend to sell some images to other people building websites and stuff. Uh, and also it's uh, to gauge your interaction with the public. Ah, okay. So are you recording? No. No, because some, the sometimes they forget to mention it. Uh, no, it's not. Which, on. as you know, we like to know because if we want to request a copy, if you don't tell us, we don't know, do we? Yeah, of course. Hello. Yeah, no, nice to see two smiley, friendly faces. I've got to say, would you do me a favour, just for the viewers, would you identify yourselves, please? PC Morgan. PC Morgan. Number 299. 299. PC Pinker 2993. Thank you very much. That's all it right. just keeps them happy, you see, because if we don't ask, the viewers go, why didn't you ask them? Uh, so uh, you're not off. Who we are, huh? Yeah, you're not off on a job then. It's only in case, just to let you know, it's only in case if it turns sour. Yeah. And I've got to say, even in Somerset and Gloucestershire, it doesn't seem to. You go that's good. That's good. up into London with the Met, yeah. you've probably seen some of the uh, the videos that come out from up there, Charing Cross, you've not, not good. You've been different places, have you? I've not done any of the Met stuff yet. I've oh, stayed okay. fairly sort of local to Berkshire, Oxfordshire, Gloucestershire, yeah. even in Somerset, so, you know. Oh, okay. So can I ask you both, how, if, if you don't mind ask, answering a couple of questions, mm -hmm. yeah. how long have you been in the job? Uh, six years this year. Six years, because you've got quite a low number. Yeah. Do they reissue them? Yeah. Ah, right. Because yeah. I was They're watching... Them through them now. Yeah, they wait a couple of years. So. Right. Because I was watching Blue Bloods about the American police in New York, and they reissue. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and you seem quite high compared to that. Yeah. Four years so, this year. Four years. Okay, so you're obviously still enjoying it because you're smiling still. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Um, got a smile when it's sunny. And I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, and I don't mean to be sexist when I say this, but okay. I, I'm a, somebody that was brought up to respect the female gender. Mm -hmm. How do you find going out into Bristol, and do, do you find that people treat you differently? Not particularly. Not really. Great. I'm glad to hear that because obviously, you know, we know there's bad stuff out there you yeah. never know what you're walking into and stuff you so you're taser trained I've just noticed yeah. but not you're not yet are you going to hopefully 
actually. Yeah? Yeah, just waiting for a cross. I'd never, never want to be on the end of one of those because it, it, <laughs> no, it looks either. pretty iffy, nice. doesn't it? I saw a, saw a video from a colleague. There was a guy, uh, Canesham Railway Station. Mm. Turns out that the guy had mental health issues, which was unfortunate, but there was British Transport Police and one of your colleagues, yeah. um, and they tasered him, and he didn't seem to have any effect, so they tased him again, and I think it was the British Transport Copper had his hand on him, so he jumped back with a bit of a, a bit of a shock, and then they battened him, oh. and I I was really surprised because it didn't really warrant it. You know yeah. what I mean? It wasn't as if he was being aggressive. You could tell he was a bit slow, bless him. Mm. But uh, so any any plans of promotions to sergeants or CID yeah, work or stuff? Moment. No, what, just happy, protein? happy being a humble Bobby. Yeah. Well, we need them. It's nice being out and about. Yeah, yeah. No, we definitely need them. That's without a shadow of a doubt. So. I'm not going to ask you your age, but you look awfully young. I'm not saying that you look old, <laughs> but, but she'll be offended by that. No, I, I'm not even going to guess. But you don't look that old. But you do look quite young. Oh, thank you. Um, I don't tell me your age by any means. My children, her. So. Are you really? Yeah. So you had a big paper around them. <laughs> really? It's a six years, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I've only got four. The I've extra seen, two so. years. Yeah. Really well, mean. do you know what? That that was going to be one of my questions because you've. You, you've been friendly and you've stopped do you find it's a stressful job most of the time some of the time or hardly ever sometimes yeah sometimes for the yeah. Part, it's all right. yeah for the most part it's well, okay it's like any job isn't it like, yeah, I well i don't know because i've never been a, a policeman I, I was always brought up with the i'm just going to focus on you for a second because we got to share it haven't we <laughs> um <laughs> I, I was always brought up if you enjoy your job, you'll never work a day in your life. True. Um, and I've had jobs where I've had to work. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, but, so yeah. nothing on at the moment. I wanted to try and pick inquiry. it just before the rush hour and stuff to try and sort of yeah. get some interaction. Yeah. When you drive off in a minute, what's the chance? Who's driving, by the way? You were, weren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's when you drive off, and I know that some of you do sometimes, any chance of the blue lights? Because that's the money pick. I can't. Why not? Unless I'm responding to anything, I can't talk about. No, there's a man just robbing somebody. <laughs> <laughs> no? Not, not, not even just a quick... Because mm -mm. 50, 50 frames a second, it only needs to be on for a couple yeah, of seconds, you know? Yeah, I know, but... but no? Yeah, any problem reach to like a code one. Yeah. Right, okay. So, you're not in that much of a hurry, so you can spare me another couple of minutes going down. Do you want to take me through your kit? With, you. uh, stuff that you can tell me. So, obviously I can see it says taser. Yeah. Um, is that because if, if it wasn't, it would say real gun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've got taser, um, limb restraints in there. Limb restraints, as opposed to the cuffs? Cuffs are there. So, what do they do then? Is that like round the knees? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So if people are kicking and stuff. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the asp. The what, sorry? Asp. Button. Button. Oh, is that what you call it? The asp? Is that because it's got a sting in the tail? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the parva. Yep. I'm going to ask you a question on parva in a minute. Oh, great. <laughs> anchor, key, anchor. Right. Body cam. Yeah. Torch. Torch. Radio pretty standard then yeah. so if you haven't got the taser no. uh, cuffs yes everything else the same now yeah. parva spray because mm -hmm. I see there's a gentleman that does this from Kent yeah. and he carries a spray now I was led to believe that anything you used even in defense as a weapon was yeah. against the law oh sorry go on right. yeah is it is it against the law if I, if I was to carry a spray of some description, like a pepper spray, or if I could yeah, get hold of it. Yeah, if it's a registered firearm. Is yes. it really? Yeah. Ah, right. Hear that, guys? Don't yeah. carry spray. Don't, yeah, it's naughty. So what if it was a tin of, say, yeah, brute? A what? Sorry? Tin of brute. Don't tin you know what brute, brute is? No. It's an old man's deodorant. Oh! <laughs> Never heard of it myself. All right. How about a tin of Paco Rabanne? Well, I guess you could have that, couldn't you, as long as you're... But would it, would it, if you used it in defence, would it be classed? Anything can become a weapon. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Even this, you yeah. know. Um, you wanted to hit me across yeah, the head with it. 
It wouldn't hurt, it's aluminium, it's very light. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, by the time I raised it, you'd have had me in cuffs, so. Yeah. <laughs> Are they just checking on me? No, we're going to a job. Oh, right, okay. So well, if you, if, see you'll, you'll see I'll say, if you need to go, <laughs> don't let me stop you, but. Um, yeah, they're just getting yeah, into a job. So, so, another personal question. Sorry, we're going to have to go. Oh, so no, we're please we're do. Yeah. yeah, sorry. <laughs> Listen, guys, thanks for identifying, thanks That's for right. stopping. Stay safe, yeah? yeah That's right. the most important thing. Always. You know. And you, so am I getting blue lights? Mm -hmm. Am I getting blue? <laughs> Get on. <laughs> Go on. Give me, yes. Thank you. There we go, guys. We got the blue lights. <laughs> and we got the twos. So very happy with those two ladies. Um, Look forward to your comments on them. Very smiley, very professional. And in fairness, now that we've got that, we could probably, let me just check my phone. Uh, what we're looking at, the bridge is still pretty chocker blocker. But I think we might as well head on. Um, I mean, there is a chance we could find somebody else to talk to us but I had spotted a McDonald's down the road. So I think what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to 